What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a very cool review for a product that was sent to me for free from Ceramonic. And this is the Ceramonic Blink 900 BT Wireless 2 Lav Mic System. So this is a really cool product that retails for $400. I'll have a link down below in the description if you guys want to check this out after you see this review. So this is basically a dual mic or lav system that works with uh, cameras, works with uh, laptops, even smartphone devices. It comes with a bunch of different extras that make it easy to set it up and use it with lots of different devices. So this is basically the perfect situation, a perfect product for vloggers, for videographers, journalists, anyone that basically needs a, a lav mic system in a small form factor. That's basically what this covers. And so all the audio that you're going to be hearing in this review is actually being recorded using this mic system. So I have one right here attached to my shirt on the inside of it. I'm using the built-in or the onboard microphone on this and all the other clips that you'll see in this review, I'll be using the lav mics with it. So let's do the unboxing of this product. I'll show you what comes included with it, like all the extras they do include in here. We'll take a look at the physical aspects of the receivers and the transmitters, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on what I think of the Blink 900 B2 from Ceramonic. So let's get to it. Okay, so now let's take a look inside the box and see what comes included with this. And they actually include a lot of extras with this. So first off, we get two DK3G omnidirectional lav mics. And these are very good sounding mics. Uh, matter of fact, uh, all the rest of this review, you're going to hear my audio being recorded with these microphones. And so as you can see, they do include the alligator clips as well with this. Included also with this is two foam windscreens. So if you want to use uh, your little pelt, the lav mics, when it's maybe a little bit windy outside, you'll use these to kind of dampen that sound. After that, we have a bunch of different cables. So the first cable is a TRS cable, and that's what you'll use for the camera. So this hooks up the, uh, the receiver to the cam camera that you're using to record it. After that, we have a TRRS cable, and this is what you use with mobile devices, so like an Android device. So you can use this with smartphones. And next, we have a TRS to lightning cable, and this is what you'll use to connect to iOS devices, so iPhones and iPads. After that, we have a TRS to USB Type-C cable. Um, you can use this to maybe hook this up to like a MacBook with a USB Type-C or computers or other devices that use USB Type-C. We also have a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, and this is what you'll use to charge up the case itself. After that, we have two furry dead cats, and these are actually used with the transmitters themselves, so not with the lav mics, but if you want to use the microphone that's built into the onboard microphone of the uh, transmitters, this is what you'll attach to it if there's high wind. And of course, last but not least, we do have the charging case. So this does house a battery in here, which charges up the devices that has, and it has a place where you can store the two transmitters and the one receiver inside this case. So let's take a closer look at these, uh, at the transmitters, the receivers, and of the case itself. So let's take a closer look at the charging case first. So this is not a very large case. It, it's very small, it fits in the gear bag very easily, but it will hold the two transmitters and the one receiver. Um, this does feature a 4,500 milliamp battery pack. So basically all of the bottom section here is battery. The only storage is in the top section, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But it has a built-in battery. You can press on the side here and see, and it lets you know how much battery life is in there. And there's that USB uh, Type-C charging port where you would use to charge this up. It takes four hours to fully charge this battery up, but the fact that this has three times capacity for each of the units inside of it. So it'll give you 18 hours of usage. Each of those units lasts for about six hours. So this case will charge them three times each. I used this when I was testing this thoroughly while at work. I think I used it for a full month and didn't charge it once. I didn't have to charge the, ca the, the case until after like a month. So that's quite a bit of usage. That is really, really good. And the fact that those little units will last six hours is great, but we'll talk about the units separately in a second. Um, as you can see, I accidentally wiped off the, the letters off the top of the case. I apologize for that. As far as storage goes, we do have a storage compartment up back here, and it's very thin. It's only about the thickness of the lid right here. You cannot pack this fully because you have to be able to close it, and when you have the units inside, they kind of stick out a little bit. If you can see right there, the edge, see? So there's only so much you can fit in there. So I've found that I could pretty much fit, I could put the two lav mics up inside the storage, as well as the camera cable, the camera uh, the cable that you use with the, tr the receiver to hook it up to the camera. So those three things can be, char can be placed in the storage, but all those other cables are gonna have to be stuck into like a gear bag or something. Um, and the other thing like you'll notice here too, it has a magnet built in, so when you place the, the unit in there, it actually is magnet ties and it holds it in place perfectly. And you can see the charging ports right there. So a really cool thing that this case, it has so much battery power. It's very small, it's easy to fit in a gear bag. The fact that I have two lapel or two uh, transmitters and a receiver into this one little tiny box is pretty nice and it doesn't take up much space in my backpack. So let's take a closer look now at the receiver and the transmitters. 
Okay, so let's first take a look at one of the transmitters. This thing is super tiny and super small. It only weighs 1.19 ounces. If you compare it to like a pair of AirPods, it's very, very tiny. It's much smaller than the AirPods, much thinner, smaller in form factor. The crazy thing is this will hold up to six hours of battery life, which is awesome. I mean, I've used battery packs from like Sennheiser or battery packs, uh, lav mic systems that hold up the same amount of battery life, but they're like four times the size of this. So the fact that you get six hours of this is really good. The other thing that's crazy is this actually works 200 meters or 656 feet away from the receiver. And that's of course without any obstructions and that, that's using that their 2.4 gigahertz digital frequency. It does have a built-in microphone on top, which does a pretty good job of picking up audio. And it does, like I showed you earlier, it has that, that dead cat that you can put on top of there if it is kind of windy. So and it has a clip as well. So you can clip this to jacket to a t-shirt and you can just have that with you to go. But if you want some uh, slightly better audio, I would recommend using a lapel mic, like which is what I'm using right now with the other uh, transmitter that we have right here. Um, it, the audio will be just a little bit better and you can, you can direct it more closer to your mouth as opposed to this one. This is just one direction. So it's going to pick up a lot of other audio. It's not so much closer to the mouth as like if it's on a shirt or whatever. But it does auto pair uh, to the, the receiver with seamlessly. And as you can see right there, I have it on mute right now. Otherwise, you'll hear both of them. But actually, I can unmute it and you can see the levels. It has a really nice resolution screen. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So you can see the levels moving there back and forth. On the screen itself, it shows you the levels. It shows you how much battery life. It shows you it's connected. It even shows you the gain and everything. And if you get once you get into the menu system, well, there's only three buttons that are actually on here. There's a, a mute button, which is also the off button. We have a plus and a minus. And if you hold the plus down, you can get to the menu system. So in the menu system, we have a couple of different options right here. So we have mic gain. We have input mode. So this is the mic in, or you can have the where it's the built-in mic. Low cut filter is turned off has auto gain, that's turned off as well. Uh, the mute key is enabled, backlight on, so you can have it to where this light, it, it completely goes away, so it's not, because if it's just something that's on a t-shirt and you're filming and you don't want to notice it, the light's changing or the level's changing, you could actually turn that, turn that off there. You can even lower the brightness as well. Different language, you can change the language up and you can reset it and then you can, if you need to repair it, you can pair it there and then it shows you the version number. So if, whenever there's a, a firmware update, you'll know which firmware is running on it at, right there at that moment. And to get out, you just hold down the minus button. So basically you can you go through the menu system just using the plus and minus on the side of the, the unit right there. So as far as the other buttons go, like I showed you, we have the microphone on top, we have the mic in, so that's where you plug in the, uh, the lavalier. Uh, we have an input for the USB Type-C, so if you do need to charge up and like, you don't have the charging case with you, you can plug a USB Type-C in there and get that charged up. And that's pretty much all the ports and buttons on the transmitter. So, very small, very low weight. The, the low, cut, low cut filter that's on here, it does offer a 160, 120, and 80 hertz for as far as low cut filter goes. So that is the transmitter. So now let's check out the receiver. The receiver is basically the same size as the transmitter. It's just the same thickness and size. It is a little bit heavier though, weighing at 1.25 ounces, but still very lightweight. It has the same six hour battery life as the other uh, the transmitters. When it comes to buttons on the side, we still have the same exact buttons that were on the transmitter to get into the menu system, to go up and down and move it around. The, on, when we get to the side, you have the charging port, just like on the, the transmitter. The only difference on the top is that now we have a, uh, the microphone out to plug it into the device, and you have a headphone jack. So you can plug in headphones in here to monitor your audio, which is really good if you're using it with a device that doesn't have a headphone jack. Like some cameras don't have headphone jacks, or if you want to use it with a smartphone, this will allow you to monitor your audio. When it comes to the menu system, the menu system is pretty much exactly the same as the transmitter, except you can do a couple things like turn off different channels, A or B channel turn off. You can uh, turn it to mono, stereo mode, those types of things. But pretty much all the other options are, are similar in there. And when it comes to the bottom of the clip, it does have a clip just like the transmitters, but this clip is different because it actually can fit into the cold shoe on the camera. So you can mount it to the top of your camera and see your levels and keep it on top of the camera, which is very nice. So overall, I'm really impressed with this system. Like I said at the beginning, this system is perfect for film interviews, for vloggers, for weddings, running and gunning. Even if you want to film stuff with your phone, but you want to have better audio, like if you're doing interviews at a 
at a convention and you just want to have your iPhone as a camera, this is the system that would be perfect for that. Um, and, and obviously the fact that it comes with two of them and it compares easily and it pairs easily with the, the receiver is pretty awesome as well. So if you're doing interviews with two people, like I said, weddings and type, that type of thing, this is the perfect product for that because they're so small, they're so lightweight, they're easy to hide, they tuck away, they don't take much space up. You don't even have to use the, the lapel mic with it. You could just use the onboard mic like I'm using right now. And it does a really great job. The audio sounds very good, very crystal clear. Um, the only downside I really thought about it is that you couldn't fit all the extras in the hard case that come with it, but that's not that big of a deal because I only really need to have the two microphones, the lapel mics and the uh, the cable that connects it to the camera. I can put the other things in my gear bag and that's not really a big issue for me. I really like the fact that it has so many cables on extras so that you can use it with smartphones, you can use it with a camera, even with a laptop too. Everyone's on Zoom right now and using uh, doing stuff from home. So if you want to use one of these lapel mics at home on Zoom, you can actually use it and plug into your, your, your laptop, which is really great. So overall, guys, I really recommend checking this out. It retails for $400. Uh, like I said, I'll have a link down below in the description to make that really easy to find. If you guys want to purchase one on Amazon, I have an affiliate link down below, which supports me and the channel. So click on that one. If you guys have any questions, post those down in the comment section as well. And if you want to see some of my other videos, I have two other clips over here you can click on. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.